Welcome back, Cure Arthritis Nation, to Arthritis Now, brought to you by the Arthritis National Research Foundation. I'm your host, Kyle Langan, and today's guest will be Dr. Nunzio Bettini of the La Jolla Institute of Allergy and Immunology. So sit back and relax as we bring you the latest news in arthritis. Now! So thank you, Dr. Bettini, for being with us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so if you could just tell all of our viewers um, what you do at the La Jolla Institute of Allergy and Immunology and your title. Okay, so my title at the La Jolla Institute is Associate Professor of Cellular Biology. I'm also an attending physician at the Division of Rheumatology at the University of California, San Diego. And uh, we do research on arthritis. Awesome. Great. Um, and could you, I, I know um, all of our viewers might be curious as to a little bit of an accent. Could you tell us where you're from originally? I'm originally from Rome. I was uh, born and raised in Rome for 26 years before immigrating into the United States. Great. And do you like it here? I like it a lot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I spent additional 14 years in the United States. Yeah, great. <laughs> Um, so you were funded by the Arthritis National Research Foundation about six years ago. Um, and what kind of research did ANRF's grant allow you to do? So at that time I had just started my own lab and uh, I had found an important gene for rheumatoid arthritis. So my lab was entirely uh, focused on understanding how this gene would work in arthritis. And uh, NRF funded that research on that gene. So that allowed on one hand to the science to progress in my lab. And on the other hand, it led me to get my first uh, federal grant. And so I know it can be a little bit confusing for um, someone who's not a scientist like me, for example, who isn't you know, the best with the jargon. Um, but could you just, in a layman's kind of terms, explain to us the, what you're working on? Yeah, it's very simple. So, um, basically, currently we treat patients with rheumatoid arthritis and inflammatory arthritis with medications that um, impact the immune system. And those are very good medications. However, there is a, a substantial fraction of patients that don't achieve what we call remission. So they don't have a complete control of disease. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do is to find new ways to basically improve control of disease without further touching the immune system. Because basically if you touch further the immune system with this patient, you're going to risk infections or tumors. Um, the idea would be that this new medication could be combined with the current one and would increase the chance that the patient would go in full remission. Great. That sounds very exciting. Um, and why did you choose to work in arthritis and immune research? Well, first of all, I'm a rheumatologist, so I'm interested. I see patients with arthritis. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'm very empathetic with this limitation of lifestyle that arthritis uh, confers. Um, and the second aspect, by seeing patients, uh, you can appreciate how much uh, they are in chronic pain. Chronic pain is one important aspect that is often overlooked. Uh, it feeds itself. So chronic right. pain only increases with time, especially if it's untreated. And so we here at Arthritis Now with the show, we want to give our viewers a really good idea of what our ANRF for scientists, you know, do. So what is something that you would say is a part of your job that we might not necessarily think of comes with the territory? So I would say something that uh, different from other professions is that we don't dislike to be wrong. Yeah. <laughs> if you're a professional in other fields, if you're a doctor, for example, you better be right. Right. But as a scientist, lots of discoveries come from looking twice or looking again at experiments that you might consider wrong the first time you see them or that didn't give the expected results. So you actually we are we you know, we can be wrong and be happy with it. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching part one. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out at curearthritis.org for the latest episodes of Arthritis Now. 
And don't forget to tune in next time as Dr. Bettini answers a special question from one of our followers. We'll see you then.